welcome back to another video. I hope you're all still safe and well at home. This week we are doing a one-off project in celebration of VE Day. What is VE Day I hear you ask? Well, let me explain. VE stands for Victory in Europe and marks the formal conclusion of the war with Germany on the 8th of May 1945 and the end of the Second World War in Europe. The war would continue in other parts of the world though until August 1945. But VE Day brought an end to the fighting in Europe which caused so much hardship, suffering and loss of life. Today we celebrate VE Day to honour the courage and sacrifice of that great generation who stood against the evil of Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. We remember those brave men and women who fought and laboured so that we could live in peace and liberty. And what are we going to do to mark this special occasion? Well, I thought we can make our own medals. Soldiers get given medals for acts of courage or bravery or going above and beyond in the line of duty. And I thought we could create our own to celebrate this occasion. Colour scheme wise, it would be nice if we could link it to the red, white and blue of our United Kingdom flag, the Union Jack. However, if you don't have access to red, white and blue materials, no worries. Make it as colourful or as monochromatic as you like. Materials wise, it can be absolutely anything. If you don't have access to things like ribbons or buttons, you might want to use things like fruit and veg or pasta or dried flowers or dandelions from the garden. Whatever you have available, you can use. Now I spoke to my husband, he's very excited by this project as a history teacher, and he, lucky me, let me use one of his socks, yay! <laughs> As strange as that actually seems though, the stripe material works quite well for this, as you'll see in the tutorial coming up now. Now, the main bit of the medal is usually some sort of metal medallion, and so I'm going to decide which one of these earrings is gonna be my centerpiece. And I think I'm going to go with this one here. It's got a nice circular center. I quite like the feathers coming off, it looks a little bit different. And I find this one's too glitzy and this one's too large. So I'll get rid of those and I will use this one here. Now quite often medals have some sort of material or piece above it for the medallion piece to sit on and that's what I'm going to make my sock into. And I am going to quite simply just use a section off the top here. So I am going to cut a little bit more than needed Be careful when cutting so that I can roll the top in and glue it down to make it look a bit neater but for now I will just fold it over to get an idea there we go so that's roughly how the top's gonna look and then this will sit on that bit there and hang down. Next, I think I might use some ribbon to decorate and maybe have it going in some sort of V shape. So it can look a bit like that, starting to look a little bit more like a medal. But I mentioned about having some white on here and I feel like we're lacking in that at the moment. So I saw these, I have no idea what they're meant to be, white circles in my bits and bobs in and maybe I could lay them roughly along there like that. And I do have some other pieces, some gold pieces that maybe I could put inside a couple of these although I'm not sure that I have enough of those so I might just take it from here for the moment and stick it all together and see what it looks like. If you are using something like a hot glue gun, be really careful because as the name suggests, they are super hot. Do not use the end here, do not touch it I mean, because you will hurt yourself and I don't want any of you to do that. I'm just putting a line in there and I'm quite simply, before it dries, because it dries very quickly, folding it over. And same again on this side and folding it over. There we go. 
doesn't matter if like me you get a little bit of glue on the side there we could always flip it to the other side but also don't forget we are sticking some ribbon down so I need to cut my ribbon into a couple of strips probably a bit bigger than what I need and that gives me the chance to work out where I want to place it I'm thinking something like that works really nicely so here I will just stick a bit of that down and stick it down here now for this something like double sided sellotape will work as well it would be a bit more fiddly granted but it would do the job just as well and then I will stick a line like that across there now these oops, stringy bits off the glue gun there these can be tucked in and voila, you don't know that they're the ends. If I wanted to, and I may decide to at the end, I might cut the sides down and just make it a single layer, but for now I quite like it as this. These are going to be a bit trickier to glue down, so I'm just putting the tiniest blob of glue on one side and then sticking that on like that. And I'll do the same for the next one. And again, if you don't have access to anything to glue the items down, just like I did at the start to arrange it, place it down on top of and make it look like it. You don't need to be shown wearing it or anything like that. So if you can't make it with glue, just place it, take a photo, and send that to me on show my homework so now I've got those bits on and I'm going to take my medallion bit there because the aim is to make it look like a medal now I've put quite a bit of glue for this because it's quite a big metal piece that's quite heavy so when I'm holding it up I want it to not fall off but I also need to be careful because of the holes in it that the glue comes through. I don't want to hurt myself with it. Now, I could do with something quite glitzy to finish it off with. And I'm thinking maybe that blue one there could work really nicely. Do I want it overlapping? I'm not sure that I do. Do I just want a... Is that too big? maybe it is I might just stick with sticking a gold one there because that might work better so again some more glue sticking that down there we go so this is what my medal looks like at the moment and I just need to now neaten it up so this is my final medal I have cut off any excess material, I have neatened the edges and I have stuck down a hair grip on the back so it can be worn on top of clothing. Now if you don't have a hair grip you can use a safety pin or if you're extra careful maybe with parental help you could attach it to yourself with a pin. I would like you to then show me a picture of your final medals and submit them the usual way on Show My Homework. And voila, here we go. Something to wear when we celebrate VE Day on Friday. I hope you all enjoy the extra long bank holiday and take care of yourselves. See you next time.